of this never softens the thought I suffered sliding in and out of sickness. All right, how's it going? So, I'm Aaron Hallett. If you're new to the channel, I write original Christian rock. It's a little crazy windy out. I don't think you can hear it on the microphone, but it's like really going crazy out there. <laughs> so, yeah, if you hear a bunch of that's what it is. Like I said, I write original Christian rock, so the reason I make these videos is to show you my songwriting process. I start coming up with some simple things and putting things together. I don't really overthink it, and that's also almost the point of me making these videos, to show you don't, you don't have to overthink it. So today came out, it's afternoon, I uh, picked up my guitar, I started messing around with just a really easy 4, 5, 6, 3 progression. That's like the anime chord progression, I think, because you're like never exactly resolving, but they do it. It makes like big epic anime themes, like every anime theme, same chord progression, different key, but <laughs> uh, okay. So I'll do the verse like that, and then the chorus, I think I'm just going to like uh, double the length. Just keep it really simple like that. I'm going to do a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, song structure, A, B, repeat three times. And I'm going to do a left and right guitar. I'll decide if I want to do any lead stuff. If I do, I'll probably just do over the chorus or something to like elevate it up a little bit. Let's just keep this nice and simple and just go through. All I've got is the chord progression, so see what happens. Um, left guitar now. Left and right guitar are done. Did I, did I save this? No, I should probably do that. I should definitely save because the window, the window, the wind outside is crazy right now. And if the power goes out, it'd be good if I didn't lose everything. Yeah. Left and right sides are done. This is like dead easy. Um, four chords, same chords, verse chorus, just double the length or duration of each chord. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I could do like, uh, E, G sharp, A and B, and just tap it. Yeah, that, that could work. I'll, I know I said, maybe I'll just do it on the chorus, but I might actually do verse and chorus right through the song. Sometimes these are cool. I'll put like a little delay or some kind of effect on it and just have it be like a cool rhythmic thing underneath. I ended up doing like a really simple lead in the verse on the right side and uh, just harmony with uh, some doubled octaves in the chorus. Really easy stuff, but effective. So I'm gonna improvise a guitar solo on, I already said this didn't I, on the third verse, but yeah, here I go. Okay, bass part is up next, so I just put it on and tuned it. Should be good to go. I mostly improvise these things, so we'll see what happens. The bass is done, so I deleted the drum loop. I'm gonna meet the solo to track this. Just make it easier to hear the click. But I've got a metronome up, AKA the click, whatever. So I'm gonna play to that. I'm gonna move the camera over and start tracking drums. I'm triggering the same sounds you were hearing. That's Spirit Drummer 3, and it's triggered by my uh, Yamaha DTX module. I got a couple like homemade drums with pin tech triggers on. So that's how I do the drums. Anyway, here I go. I actually uh, did a thing after I did the drums. I just played simple chords on this uh, MIDI keyboard here. So if I go on to it, like first chord A, I just did like... 
A major 7. With that ridiculous sound. <laughs> A, B, C sharp minor, G sharp minor, the chord progression. I just held the chord, so all I did is play it like once through, copy and paste, and call it a day. So I'm not going to show that. It's pretty boring. But it's super low volume in the mix, and when the chorus hits, it's just underneath and makes the guitar sound a little thicker. That's why I did it. Then I did what... I seem to be doing lately, which is uh, went in the house, took a little uh, mini break for like 10 minutes. I uh, talk text some lyrics into my phone, which is awesome because I can just like spout stuff off, <laughs> like improvise it and have something there. <laughs> And the chorus is the same, so, you know, I can just, like, copy-paste that. Makes it really quick to come up with lyrics. But I do that, make a coffee, and then I figure by the time I come in, my brain has reset, and I can, like, hear the song afresh and not be going off of all the stuff I've been piling on. That's the idea, anyway. So, once I come back out, I just uh, warm up a little bit. I improvise with said lyrics, do a scratch track, which is called such because I'm just going to delete it after. I mute it out while I'm tracking just in case I completely forget what I was doing. If I came up with anything cool, that way I can be like, what was that part? And then just go back. I think I should be able to make it through this. I don't want to update right now. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hit record and go for it. Got the uh, monitors off. Good to go. Here I go. I I think I'm going to do a harmony. I'll probably just do like the first line, let the second line go out, and that'll help me line it up too. No pun intended there, but yeah, I think that'll work just because it was a little Im improvisational and this will help line it up so it's not like so off time. Otherwise, I got to like memorize the crap out of what I did. And I, I just don't do that. <laughs> I hit record and go for it. So I got the first one down in like two takes. I just had to do like a warm up one. And then once I was kind of set, I went, Okay, here we go. Alright, that's it. I'm done. So, didn't do too much as far as harmonies go. Boop that out one beat. Otherwise it sounds weird. Not the little breath noise there. Um, yeah, so the, uh... Oops. The vocals get a little extra compression, tape saturation, that sort of thing, but pretty much as you heard them. Lyrics are in the description box towards the bottom. At least they will be right now if they're on my phone, but I copy paste them in there. Then I'm going to have where you can purchase and stream my music in the middle of the, the uh, description box. That's gonna show up as a link to a YouTube topic page where you can listen to my stuff and also a list like iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. No links, but if you use any one of the services in said list, just go to it. Type my name in the search bar. So if you use iTunes, Spotify, whatever, go to it. Type Aaron Howlett, same as the YouTube channel, in the search bar. You should find me. The uh, top thing I have is PastorMelissaScott.com. That's there because this is Christian rock, as I said in the beginning. That is a link to really good Bible teaching. I put that there because from my own experience, finding good Bible teaching on Online is nearly impossible because there's just so many out there stupid things. I think even worse are the ones that are kind of close, but just a smidge off the, you know, center focus. That's even more nefarious because it's just makes you think it's the real thing, but it's just not. So I put this here because if you go to it, you're going to find a website run by Pastor Melissa Scott, who is just teaching the Bible. Her late husband, Dr. Gene Scott, was also just teaching the Bible. And when I say teaching the Bible, I mean without all of the baggage, traditions, and 
garbage that so many others will pile on. Even um, your just average community church, they got so many traditions and all kinds of things they import, subjective ideas from just people that just bring in everything. So this is just actual teaching straight from the book. Trouble's taken to uh, do their own translation from the original languages just because they want to get the exact meaning the writers were intending. Faith is the only way you can please God. They're teaching a lot on that, and I can't say enough about it. Everybody falls short, so you just need that connection. Once you have that connection, God gives you the Holy Spirit, and that life in you starts changing you. And it's not the kind of change most people are looking for. It's like the real thing, not a bunch of fake outward stuff. Because most people are like just trying to change the exterior. It's the interior. Anyway, check out the stuff. It's the best thing I've seen anywhere. And I put it in the link or in, I put the link in the description box just so you can see it if you're interested at all. As far as my music, if you subscribe, like, comment, share, you'll keep seeing me. Check out my playlists and all that stuff because there's a lot of music there. If you subscribe, you'll keep seeing the videos. Uh, like I said, I just kind of make these particular ones to show you my writing process. The other ones I put out are just the song or the guitar solo from said songs. So, you know, thanks for watching. This one's done, except... Right now, you're going to see multiple windows, me playing all the parts and that sort of thing, and hear the finished version. So here comes that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Riding from the side of others Never softens the thugs that suffer Sliding in and out of sickness Would you like to see Going for the final Would have full Offers in the wind Get to blow Change is coming soon Oh